to speak of the Home Office in its annual report and accounts for 2015 and 16 said, we have already recognised child sex abuse as a national threat in the strategic policing requirement. We are obliging forces to maximise specialist skill and expertise to prevent offending and resolve cases. It seems the only force that it wasn't obliging to maximise specialist skill and expertise was the Metropolitan Police Force, the largest force in the country. I appreciate that technically this is a matter for the Mayor and for the Mayor's Office of Policing, but this is a force that the Home Office had responsibility for as recently as 1999, and the public will not understand why the Home Office never asked questions yeah. about how the largest force in the country was preventing, offending and revolving, re resolving child sex abuse cases. This report comes weeks after the damning review found numerous errors in Scotland Yard's Operation Midland Pro. These revelations come in a week in which the largest group of survivors, the Shirley Oak Survivors Group, have withdrawn from the child sex abuse inquiry, which makes you wonder how long the Metropolitan Police has been failing victims of child sex abuse in London. This is a shocking report. The Home Secretary cannot hide behind the mayor, looking at child sex abuse in its totality, looking at how the child sex abuse inquiry seems to be crumbling. The public would be forgiven for asking how seriously does this government really take the issue of child sex abuse?